Greetings, everyone. My apologies. I'm such a slacker. I didn't realize I did not have... Ah, ah, I'm being attacked by the cords. Um, I didn't realize I didn't have my live set up for pre-notifications. So, please allow me to give a moment to spread the word that we are live... Um, apparently I'm live because I have Pam and Dawn and Amy. <laughs> Hello, lovely ladies. Let me go to my channel. Let me go to there. Uh-oh. I have no sound. Oh, can you hear me? Okay, so what's going on? What's going on? Uh, if you guys are really hungry, too. Um, okay. Why, 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 why? Uh, why can I not hear? Wait a minute. Oh, you guys can't hear me, I bet, can't you? Can you guys hear me? You can hear me. I can't hear me because I'm on a Zoom call. <laughs> and Zoom is muted. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> you guys, I'm on a Zoom call with myself. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't turn up my volume. It just it does nothing because... I got Zoom going on right there so that I can have, if I need to, I can, uh, you know, you know what I need to do. But so what you're looking at today, that is a Zoom call with myself. And if you don't have a friend with you on a Zoom, it will cut you, it will shut you down. And shut you down in 30 minutes and you know I got the gift to gab we'll be here more than 30 minutes trying to do this stuff um, let me sh copy the link I'm gonna go over to Facebook we're gonna give fi oh, well that oh my my watch is saying get up and go walking I don't want to get up and go walking you can't make me um, we're let's see we're gonna share this in our group we're going to go to, or you know what, let me share this on my wall, which you'll then share it in the group as well for all you page, page makers, page makers, and oh, it dislikes me today. It says, nope, you got to be chat with sassy. You can't be yourself. You got to be chat with sassy. What's on my mind? What's on my mind, you guys? I think I'm live. That's what I'm, that's all, what's on my mind. We're going to put that, we're going to space that, we're going to do the next button, and then we're going to share that in our chat with Sassy's Crafty Friends. Then we're going to go to Messenger, and we're going to go to those three law hamburgers right there, and then we're going to go to a chat with Sassy. Um, all my friends in a chat with Sassy's group, you can make little side rooms there. If you want to go live and, and crafty with people and stuff. But I, I have one specifically just for when I go live in the different places I go live. That way there, you guys can see it. But I don't respond to nobody in there. So if you say hey, I'm not saying hey back. <laughs> but you can make another room and say hey and I'll say hey back. So, we are going to start with some happy mail. Look it. Wait, where's that? That's there. Okay, so I got to make sure I'm over here. I'm over here with my happy mail. Why? Come on, camera. Don't be so obnoxious. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Sort of. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Don't mind me. So, we are here... Where do you guys go? I lost you guys. 
Look at all those comments. Oh my gosh, all you guys snuck in while I was busy. Again, let's say hello to Pam. How are you? There's Dawn, the crafty vis vis visage. Amy Corson, hello, lovely. Jim Eber, hello, sir. How are you? Ramona, Sandy Visker. You guys are so lovely. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the question, right, Amy? So this lovely card. Ah, okay. Why? Why are we so whited out? Let's see if we can't fix that, please. Please hold. There we go. So this lovely card is from Vey. Hi. Thank you. Look at those cute little cherries. She says, "I pick you. I pick you too." This one's cute. Lots of fun little paper piecings. If you're making cards and you have leftovers, you know, that's what all the cool kids are doing. They're saving their leftovers. They're making cool cards. But yeah, you're the... <laughs> you are cherry sweet. <laughs> Ooh, she forgot to give me some initials. Kim in Alaska is quietly lurking. <laughs> Pam says, I think my child had a smartphone before I did. Yeah. <laughs> my kids were really good. Um, they got phones. They got tablets. Well, okay. So they started off with tablets. Then we went to the Xbox. And they did really good with the Xbox. So I got them their cell phones. And um, I told them, I says, you know, your friends are like, oh, it broke. Oh, it broke. You break yours, that's it. No, no can doozy. And you know, never once. I'm trying to think, I'm double checking. Not once have I had to replace their phones because they broke. They've got upgrades because they were outdated and didn't work anymore. But no broke screens, no nothing. My kids, they may hate school. And I have issues, but... They're good with their electronics. And why did my phone just shut off? Like, that was rude. I was watching me. <sighs> so rude. So rude. Get that in there. The question they get. Oop. Um... Ten or eleven, maybe, maybe ish. My niece, her kids were a little bit younger. Well, they might have been ten or eleven too. My my niece has got her kids' smartphones too. So, yeah, yeah. I guess it really depends on their um, respectfulness for things. You know, because they're expensive. Like, you know, and are they chat? Do they have a lot of friends to chat with? Because we didn't have a home phone. And I didn't want to give up my cell phone. <laughs> so I had to I had to do something. Yeah, mid mid teens. Yeah, my kid yeah. Mine were mine were young, but they were really good with them. And they were chatting with their friends and playing the games. And the phones worked better than the tablets. And that was one of my things is we'd buy a tablet, an inexpensive one, no fault of the kids. They just crash. And I'm like, Ugh. so we got an inexpensive phones and put them on the plan. All right. 13. Yeah. It's not a bad age. They could be 14, 16, 18, whatever you feel. You know, as a parent, you know, that's your choice, which thankful, you know, get them to responsibilities. And with the new parent locks and all that stuff, I know my niece sets timers for her, her youngins, like they can have their phone, but um, it shuts it down so they can't play games or anything. Yeah, but I like it because they can call me, I can call them. Um, we send little messages through messenger on their little cell phones. I love it. 
they're not little little but you know what I mean okay oh let's 10 minutes in and I haven't even done anything <laughs> so um we're gonna work in the brother scan and cut today I've set it up so hopefully everything's working good I'm gonna shut me down and we're gonna go into brothers canvas okay wait where <laughs> where am I I need to shut that one down and I need to shut that one down haha <laughs> look at no tunnel vision you guys how is it <laughs> Amy says I'm childless it's okay <laughs> Oh, being an, I'm an auntie. I like to be, I'm, I'm the auntie. I, I, I love that too. Shay says, I want to scan and cut. Well, hopefully we'll do some fun things and we will, um, we'll have some fun with their scan and cut today. Now, one of the projects is definitely a little bit time consuming. Then we're going to do a couple of, uh, quicker projects. But when you first open scan and cut, you get this um, project page and it's got all these things that you can make. Um, I don't know if they cost anything. I don't use those. <laughs> so we just close out that window right there. And then we have our canvas. And our canvas looks exactly like our, um, our sticky, our sticky grid, kind of like this Cricut sticky mat, you know, uh, brother is set up differently. You can definitely tell them apart and, uh, brother theirs is very specific. So yeah, so th that's the brother canvas and just like so many cutting machines, very similar aspects. You can download stuff to the canvas you uh, send it wirelessly to the machine to cut and all that fun stuff. But our first project, okay, um, we're going to grab a file. So we're going to go up here top left and we're going to click file. And, oops, file. And then we're going to open, okay. And it's going to open our little project menu. And I just want to make sure that it's loading. So let me see um, if it uh, is showing you what I'm seeing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> Shay says, where is my Santa? Oh, fabulous. My, uh, Pam says, my nephew got my sister's old iPhone when a, he was 13. But she was the only one he could call. <laughs> Uh, that's too funny. Yeah. Okay. So here's our, basically all the program files on our computer, right? And, um, I have my documents folder and in my documents folder, I have all of my digital stamps. Okay. And I call them digital stamps just to kind of clump everything together. Because if we look up here at barely art, Barely Arts, they're not digital stamps, but you could print them and all that fun stuff. These are, they're, these are designed for Cricut projects. You cut the colors, you put them together, all that fun stuff. But we're going to turn one of them into a stencil. And these images by Barely Art Glue, you can go to the Barely Art Glue website and you can see if they still have them for free. So we're just going to open this up. Uh, oops. My bad. I, I clicked the wrong thing. As you can see, it says, hey, there's no files here. Okay, so we're going to go and we're going to close this because I picked the wrong one. We're going to file and I said open. Okay, so open is a project that you're working on that you've saved. We want to bring in an SVG. So we're going to import from the computer and there. Now we can see an SVG. So we're going to go back to my documents where I know all of my digital stamps are we're gonna go to brother or barely art glue and I'm just double tapping these and then we're gonna go to kawaii 
Kawaii ki Kiwi. Okay, so I double tap that, and we're just double tapping till we can get, get in there. And uh, barely art glue, they give you some artwork, how it's supposed to look. They give you the black and white image if you want to print and color it. They give you a PNG in color if you want to print, cut, and make stickers or embellishments. And then we have our SVG. All SVGs look like this. Okay, that's all SVGs. On Windows. Mind you, I am using Windows, you guys. I do not know how it looks on a Mac. So, sorry about that. So, we're going to open that. And look, it's so teeny weeny. It popped it there. So, I'm going to highlight it like so. Okay. And I'm going to uh, come all the way over here to the right hand side. Okay. And there's some tools over here. And we're going to pick this one that has like a box with an arrow. Okay. We're going to click that one. And this is our measurement alignment window. Um, lots of stuff that you can do in here. Okay. And uh, we're going to come and we're going to make our... I want like a three inch kiwi. Okay. So I want to maintain the aspect ratio. So I want to make sure that is checked so that when I put a three on the width, it's going to make um, the three on the height. Now it's maintaining the ratio. It's not perfect. Okay. So there's that. So now we have our three inch kiwi. Isn't it the cutest? I want to stencil a kiwi, but I don't want to stencil a kiwi with a face. So here's what we're going to do. I want to make, oops, we're going to get a triangle. Okay. And because my circle is three inches, I want a four inch stencil square. Remember when, if we don't cut a square or rectangle around our image it's not gonna pop out of the stencil material if that makes sense so this is going to be the shape of our stencil that we can store away i'm not a hundred percent sure how many layers i have right we have to dissect our little kiwi so that we can create the layers so what i'm gonna do is I'm going to grab that cute little kiwi and to grab just like on pretty much any any program you're going to click outside click and hold and then drag your mouse across okay see that see how it's like grabbing everything and I don't think I grabbed that face so we're gonna come down at the bottom make sure all the little bits are grabbed then I'm gonna control Hold down the control button and hit the C button. And then hold down the control button and hit the V. Control C, control V. Copy, paste, or, or paste. <laughs> I don't know why. It's because they're so close together, the C and the V. Copy, paste. And then I'm going to paste it, control V. I'm just going to paste it a couple of times, control V. Okay, like so. We're going to dissect this one. So it's going to stay here in the corner. I'm going to take this one that I've moved. <laughs> I should have done that differently. You'll see what I should have done. Okay, so I want to make sure that this is all grouped together. So I'm going to go to my layers panel and I'm going to come down here see my layers. It's like a stack of squares, the layers right there. And if you hover, it will tell you. So um, I've clicked my layers and you can see uh, it's blue and then there's some that are white. All the blue is what I've got selected there. And 
just under everything there's a little button it's got a triangle a circle inside a square and it says group so we're just going to click that okay so now that's grouped so now i can grab my box that i made and my kiwi and i don't have to worry because the eyeballs are already selected and i'm going to go back to the edit square with that little arrow and I'm going to scroll down um, about halfway down, a little more than halfway. We have the alignment tool. So I'm going to center them um, left to right. And now I'm going to center them top to bottom. So this kiwi is perfectly centered in that square. Now this is what I should have done. Instead of copying just the kiwi, my bad, let's get those out of there. We're going to delete those. We're going to copy our kiwi and the square because they're perfectly centered. We're going to copy. We're going to paste. Control C, Control V. And then we're going to Control V to get another one. And kind of looking at this, this may be a three or four stencil. And that is okay. So we're gonna start with this guy here, okay? We're gonna yank him apart. We're gonna see what we're cutting up, okay? So we're just gonna pull it apart and we're gonna see. And I can see already all the goodies and I'm gonna delete the face. So you highlight it and then you just click your delete button because I don't want the face, right? Well, the black piece here, okay, that's a behind piece. That's not something we need because when we make this a stencil, we're going to stencil those dots with black. So I don't need the black piece either. So we're going to go ahead and delete that little guy too. Okay, so now I have my kiwi brown, which is going to be the size of my kiwi, okay, so I'll need a stencil for that one. This one here is going to do the um, dark bit, the dark green, right? And I'm thinking it does have the little dots in it, and I can't take those away, but I can mask mask those off. So I'm going to go ahead and put that little yellow dot that we need. And I'm going to center that in there, okay? Just like that. And then I'm going to group those two together. So we're going to go back to our layers. And then I'm going to click that group button at the very bottom. Okay, and see now that bounding box is gone off of that one. And that is one item. And then we need this piece. So those are the three pieces we need for our stencil. And all of these are nicely centered. So I'm going to click on that one. Or no, we're, we're going to start at the top. So when I, when I go to the right hand side in my layers and I click, it's showing me that one. And I want to ungroup it now because we're going to do some deleting. Emptiness scrapper. Um, this one is a more complex design. This one is for the more, more complex -y items. But we're going to get into um, a quick uh, word stencil and then a just a fun design stencil that we can throw together really quickly on um, the canvas. Because we have a full 12 by 12 sheet of mylar that we need to cut up. But I want to show that you can go from super complex to super easy. So <laughs> hopefully I don't use, I should have done it in reverse. We should have done really simple into the really hard one. But, you know, I'm going to go backwards so that you can go, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we've ungrouped this bottom one. Okay, so now we have a ton of little things. So what I'm going to do is right here on the right hand side those are all the the ones that are in this group right all the way up to this shape of a square down here 
So I'm going to start at the top. Okay, and see I've clicked just that one and I don't know if you can see that there's a little bounding box right there. It's highlighted something. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to click the next shape and I'm going to delete it. Click the little mouth shape and delete it. Click this little white piece. Nope, <laughs> I don't want to rename it. Double clicking on the, the word, you can rename it. <laughs> We're just going to delete it. Turn it blue, delete it. Turn it blue, click the delete button. Okay. Now for this one, I just want the thing. So I'm also, you can do it one at a time or you can click the one, hit the shift button and then click down until you have selected. Okay. So you can do it one at a time or you can click the first one, hit the shift button and click the last one in the cluster. Okay. So now when I hit delete, all I am left with is my circle and square. So now I can select both of those. We're going to group those together and I don't have to worry about that one. It is nice and centered. So we're going to move to our next set and we're going to see which group. Oops. That's this group here. So I've got my mouse hovering over that group and I right click and I ungroup and same thing. We're going to get rid of everything but this particular slice of kiwi. So I'm going to start down by that kiwi. I'm going to click there and then I'm going to shift all the way up and delete. Okay. Now my grouping is still really big because we have the black piece, shift, and the brown piece, shift, and now delete. So now we have our one little kiwi piece, select, and group down here at the bottom. Ta-da! So now we have our cute little kiwi, and then this or our kiwi seeds is what that's going to be, right? And then we've got our last kiwi. We're going to click the grouping that it's in. We're going to right click. We're going to ungroup. And then this one, um, I'm going to click the, the face parts. Okay, I'll delete all those face parts. We want to leave our little um, center piece. But we want to take out the um, the one green this one green piece. So I've got oops. Okay, click our yellow one, and then we're gonna control click the other shapes, and control click allows you to skip pieces. So I've selected. Oh, I'm such a dork. Okay, so no, we, we want to keep those. We want to get rid of this one. I didn't need to control click. I need to delete those. I almost deleted our centerpiece, you guys. And there it is. So we now have this little piece here. We're going to highlight everything. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to select all of that and delete them. Because now we just have... Our little three stencils so we're gonna put them up here we're gonna give them some room to cut because brother will cut right up to the edge and on my board my stencil hangs over the edge so I can go right up to the edge with these oh I'll be doing more Cricut and um, so uh, more Cricut more Cricut and Brother Scan and Cut videos. So hopefully we'll do some easy peasy ones that you guys can follow along with and make make some simple, simple, simple goodies, simple goodies. Okay, so there's our stencil for our Kiwi. Now we have room. You see this? We've got a lot of room on here. So we're gonna do, we're gonna grab ourselves a, a square which it kind of dropped it <laughs> just right there. So while it's still highlighted, we can move it. I'm going to put my little square right there. And then, oh, 
we're locked. We're locked in a square format. I don't want a rectangle. So what I'm going to do is I could pick a rectangle, but I can also go over here to my edit button. We're going to click the maintain aspect ratio because we don't want to maintain it. We want to stretch her out. There we go. Look at that. Just like so. Okay, so this we um if I was making a card that was four and a quarter by five and a half, um, we want to take off let's see, four and a quarter, take off a half, so that's three uh, well, it would be 370 fifths, which definitely won't fit there. So we're just going to make this an even three, because why not? And then the the tallest we could have it on a card is five and a half, but we want a little bit of border. So I'm going to do a five inch rectangle, okay? So it looks a little weird, but that is five inches. Okay, Brenda, she says, I'm late, but I made it. I appreciate it. And hello, Miss Gloria and Maddie, the emptiness scrapper. How are you, lovelies? I hope everybody's doing great. There's um, Crystal. She sold her scanning cut. That's all right. She's got a cute little baby joy. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, and Miss Pam, she is just here for my chatty chatting, and I appreciate it, let me tell you. Okay, so there's my little rectangle, okay? So let's put a word in my rectangle, because remember, when if we were to cut just the word out, it would be stuck to this whole stencil. If we were to cut the word out, the word would pop out, but the outline that we need for stenciling would be stuck to the entire sheet. And then we'd have to cut a rectangle to get it out. So we're going to have the scan and cut cut ours out. Okay, I'm going to put, we did, um, I love your... And then we'll do enter and then we'll add another little text and then face caps locks f-a-c-e we're gonna do that I love your face okay now just like um, the other items okay we can elongate it whoop whoop which I do want that Okay, I love your face, and there's that. Now, just remember, anything with circles or innards, like the A, when you go to um, stencil it in with ink, you're not going to have that triangle there. It's going to be a void, so it's just going to be a solid A shape. Same with the O's, okay? There'll be big circles. There won't be any dots or anything, but that's where you can put in embellishments and stuff. And then we're going to select this because um, maybe we don't like the font. Once you have your words selected, you can go up to your library of text font. It's right here, more on the right side. Okay. And we can see what we're allowed to do here. So, are we, <laughs> um, no. Oh, there we go. So, we got to give it a second. And then we can kind of see what they have for some fonts. Again, if it's too scripty, it's not going to, um, oh, look, no. Where's that one? Um, you know what? These look like the ones on my computer. So I I'm, I clicked on one. We're going to give it a second to load up. And yeah, I really like that. It's called Beauty Mom, Beauty Mommy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take this and rotate it. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Now, if we 
kind of glance over here as we're rotating on the right hand side about midway there's the transform a button and we can watch those numbers move around really crazily and um yeah so we're gonna I think it's two 270 so I'm gonna go like this and I'm just gonna straighten that out we're gonna go 270 we're gonna put that right there we're I'm gonna leave this one because it's fun and then we're also so I don't have to swing it around I'm gonna select it and right under transform in the angle button we're gonna type the same that it was for the other one 270 and then we're gonna go send that over there and then we realize that one is sticking out like crazy so I'm gonna make it fatter we're gonna shrink her up where we want to okay and then we're gonna grab face and then we're gonna shift and click I love you because we want those centered um, on the horizontal we don't want them centered the, the other way because then it just mushes them together okay so control Z control Z if you make a boo-boo okay so now I love your face those two items are um, centered with each other so I'm gonna shift I'm gonna click that again we're gonna go to layers and we're gonna uh, group them okay and this is why we want our words now centered in our triangle if we don't center the words they'll readjust we want our words centered together group them then center them with the triangle so we're gonna go back to our edit button we're gonna go to the center left right center side to side and now it's perfectly centered isn't that fabulous that one was easy peasy yeah F put in your words find a font and go to town now we have a lot of space left right so we're gonna go into our shapes button over here on the left hand side we're at the triangle and the circle and um, maybe you guys see those fancy postage stamps or uh, I mean there there's tons of stuff look at oh, look at this one let's do a flower okay so that's gonna cut out a nice little flower but I want it to be a stencil okay so do you guys remember what we got to do if we want it to be a stencil I'm trying to see we'll make it a little bit smaller we're just gonna maintain that control Z um, click on you come on we're oops control Z don't move you we're gonna click on you please thank you maintain and then we're gonna shrink that down <laughs> you guys are talking about Simon yes yeah you know um, if I were doing demos and stuff like mr. Simon Hurley was there's just sometimes you just got to clean the mess but I'm hogging all your time I don't particularly mind <laughs> making you wait while I clean up you know but uh, when you're trying to make short videos and stuff sometimes you just gotta wipe it up I don't judge him but I do I do look away <laughs> I do look away okay so if we cut this out let's say this is our design we want these little flowers all over our paper if we cut this out it'll be stuck in the entire stencil so we need to give it um, a square or something to sit on okay 
And when it lands, all the new stuff seems to be popping here in the upper right or upper left corner. And all you got to do, you guys, is just grab it. And if you can't grab it, you can go to your layers, remember, and look for the one that's highlighted blue. Okay. So now I'm going to click on my shape, which I can't get a hold of my shape because the square's on top of it. So I'm going to go to this this uh, layers panel and I'm going to pick my flower. <laughs> Come on, let me pick my flower. You're being a brat. Okay, we're going to pick our flower. Now can I grab you? There we go. So I'm going to put this little flower there. I'm going to control C, control V. I've got myself a second flower and a third flower because it accidentally went too many times. Okay. And then I'm going to shrink this one up a little bit. I'm going to scooch that over there. I'm going to scooch that right about there, but I'm going to make that one a little bit smaller too. Um, you know what? This I think I like this. We're going to have this little bitty cluster of flowers. Just a fun little thing. Again, if it's not working, just make sure you click and then you can grab that particular item. And let me grab this bigger one. There, we're... <sighs> or you can lock it. I mean, if it's really giving you a headache, lock your shape. We're gonna click and drag you right there. And then I'm going to get that little one again, right there, click, there. So I'm gonna, I've got myself a little stencil for some little flowers, okay, and I've got lots of room left. Let me drag my canvas over so we can see that. You can come up here to the top left-ish area. There is a zoom. If you're having trouble seeing, you can definitely zoom. That's really good for your words and stuff. And then um, <laughs> you can see I dropped a, a little shapey shape there. So let's, let's put that shape, put that shape down here. And then we're going to go to the edit button. We're going to not maintain the aspect ratio we're gonna make this a little bit long and wonky like so and I don't like it so we're gonna delete it because we can let's grab let's grab this rectangle instead of stretching it let's make it what it is the area that we're filling so there's there's that and this this piece will be fun okay i'll show you what we're gonna do with this weird little piece what size is this piece let's make this piece um so we're gonna do four and a quarter let's do four and a quarter four no four and a quarter uh take that down a little so four four and a quarter, take off a half an inch, that's 375ths, 3.75. Okay, so, and then I'm going to rotate it. Is it too big to put there? It is. It's still too big to put there. How much room do we have over here? Uh, okay, and then can we do a height of five and a half? That would be five. Okay, no. It is a little too big. It's a little too big. How much room do I have? Yeah, I don't really have room. I was I have an idea for it though. So let's maintain aspect ratio and we're going to make this small enough to fit in the area. And then hopefully it'll still look good on our card. I'll show you what I'm going to do. But we just need this. We don't need the inner the other pieces. I'll show you. Okay, and then um, we've got our our shapes 
Now, unlike, <laughs> unlike, <laughs> unlike, what's his face? Our shapes, we don't have to pay for. Unlike the other one. So if I put that there, and then we go and grab... Uh, ooh, let's grab some of, ooh, do, which one do we want? Do we want this one? Yeah, we'll grab this one. And we're going to shrink this down so you can get creative and make some stuff. Okay. We're going to do, we're going to control C, C. Oops, what did I do? C control C, V, copy, paste. We're going to turn this one, so that's going to be a 90 degree angle, 90, okay. We're going to plop that right there. We're going to control CV, and then this time on this program, the Cricut might have had it too, we're going to flip it on the vertical, okay. Look at that, and then we don't have to adjust anything, and we're going to do this, control CV, and then we're going to flip it on the horizontal, Okay, and then we're just going to kind of line these up a little bit. I don't know. You guys can really take your time and line these up. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I am going to, in the edit, we're going to scroll down and we're going to weld them together okay so now I've got this wonky funky little shape right because I welded it together I'm gonna shrink it down a little we're gonna plop it right here we're going to um, we're just gonna I don't know um, let's see that I think needs let's put one of these in there Where'd it go? Oh, it put it way up there. We're going to shrink this little bad boy down. We're going to put that there. We're going to do a control C and a control V. And then we're going to put that one there. And a control C and a control V. And we're going to rotate this one. So we're going to roll up here to... Let's see if we can flip. Oh, we all we had to do is flip it. So there's that. So now I've kind of made like this little corner thing, right? Let me go to my layers and grab those items. We're going to shift and click our items. And we're going to scooch them down to right there. Okay. And then we're going to cut them out. We need a triangle so that that can be our little corner stencil. And let's get, well, we'll probably get away with a little square. Like so. Mm, okay. We're going to grab our little shapes right there and then we're gonna I'm gonna use my arrow keys on my uh, laptop just to scooch that down okay and then I scooched it too far so let's <laughs> grab those again and then we're gonna go up we're gonna go slower this time because I'm kind of over my red line right I don't, there's a red board bounding on our board so that we don't go over. And then I can shrink my little box a little bit. And it will probably cut super close. Let's, let's fix the box to this one because I don't need it to be too terribly big, right? There we go. So we've got that. And then let's just drop in. Let's drop in some fun shapes just to have some shapes to cut out because our canvas is nice and plump. 
look at all this stuff and then we are just clicking dragging and cropping and then I noticed right here we have this little guy um, this this shape here showed up so I I clicked it in my panel and then I can delete it and we can look at everything so we got our kiwi pieces we've got some fun other little shapes we got this little wonky thing that we drew and yeah so we're good we're good to make we're good to make so we used an SVG we used some fonts we used some little shapes to create some designs and now we we need to do a couple of things okay now say we made these stencils and we didn't like them the sizing was off we need to go back and fix it well if we don't save it as a working project we we can't go back and fix it right so we want to save it now for me i created a in my documents there's brother projects okay so I'm in my brother projects folder okay if I already have a folder for the project type I'm working on I'm gonna do that so anytime I create a die cut for Simon Hurley I have that um, my dinosaurs from Tracy Hay they're in there so if I get more Tracy Hay and I make some die cuts for it they're gonna go in there while you're in here and you need a new folder you right click in a blank area and you go down to new just like your regular stuffalophagus and we're going to add a new folder and this is going to be live demo because that's what i'm doing my live demo okay and then i can click out of it or right when it was clicked we can click open okay now i need to name this because if they're all named untitled <laughs> you're not gonna know what it's called so we're gonna call this live demo okay and then I'm gonna hit save now what we did is we saved our progress our project um did you mean to leave one corner without that weld oval shape thingy yes yes i purposely left one of those out to be a corner thingy <laughs> yep yep thank you all right and then so we saved it like that now we need to send it to our scan and cut and my scan and cut got tired of waiting on me so i actually have to go turn that on so all i'm gonna do is roll around and hit the power button okay so my scan and cut is turning on right now okay so now we need to send it to our scan and cut okay so we're gonna go to file and we want to export it okay now you get th i don't know if everybody gets three options but i have three options first option is export the file to a file okay and i'll show you exactly what that does we're going to export it to a file okay and what this is, this becomes, I don't know if you guys noticed the file extension on the other one, but we're in the same folder, okay, and it's not there, our, our last thing that we saved, but it is there, it's just a different file extension. This file extension, when I hit save, because it's my live demo, this particular file extension I can share with anybody with a brother scan and cut and they can load it up onto their machine and cut it okay so if I were to put this in my shop that's what it would be under unfortunately I cannot put this in my shop because of the kiwi design the kiwi is not mine I purchased that elsewhere 
So I cannot put this one in my shop. Sorry guys. So that is what that saving is. So we did not send it to our computer, our file, right? Um, ugh, we did not send it to the scan and cut. What we did when we went to file, export, we saved it to our computer. You can also save it to a flash drive at this point by clicking the same as I did, export CFCM file and put it in your flash drive. Then you'll eject your flash drive and go put it in the brother scan and cut. I have mine set up wirelessly. So I'm going to send it via the internet. Okay, if you have a cable system, you can do this with this bottom one here. I cannot do that one, but I can transfer via the internet. So I'm going to click on that one. Our middle choice, it says that the registered machine is ready to download the transferred file from the internet. All right, well, let's go see if that's, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, so hold on one second. I'm trying to find my live here. I am going to go into my Zoom camera. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Look at you guys. Okay, we're going to go. I know it's only half the screen. Hopefully you guys can still see what's going on. Yes. Pam, I could. Okay, so we're gonna go over here and, uh-oh, you know what I forgot to get ready, you guys? Oh, I found it. Don't mind me. Check out my mess. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now, if you'll notice my setup, you see how dark it is here? When you guys get into scanning your images, even with your Cricut and all that stuff, mine doesn't I don't know if it scans very well, but um, you'll want to make sure this is nicely lit because, you know, those the reader needs to see. Okay, but for now, pardon the shakies. We're going to try and see if we can get this going. So this is the, the little home screen. Okay, I just tap the screen. It says it's going to get ready. We're going to tell it okay. Now you've got two options. You can scan, which we'll, I'll do pre-recorded videos on all of that. Today we have a pattern. Remember, we just made our pattern. Okay. And up here, there's our little cloud. Come on. Our little cloud to internet. We could do a test cut and our save data and that little doohickey there. Okay. And pardon me, I'll try not to turn you around while I reach reach for my, my cutting mat, which I did prepare. My stencil is on there, and I squeegeed it down, okay? And I'm just going to hold it there with my belly <laughs> so I can do two things at once, okay? Um... Let me, I should have done a test cut and all you got to do, oops, nope, it don't touch all the other stuff, but if you're not sure about the depth and stuff for your material, you can do your test little cut. You could do a little nick or because I wouldn't be able to see that because I'm half blind here. We could do a little triangle. And then we're going to set that, okay? And so it's going to cut a little triangle there or wherever you want because you can click it and drag it around. Um, I'm going to go double check. Oops. So I'm going to just come over here and I'm going to click on this. And there is a little space right about there. So I'm gonna do a little test cut, like right there. So we're gonna see if I can't finagle that. 
finagle that. And if it mucks it up, it mucks it up. It's just a trial, you guys. I should have thought about that beforehand. So I'm thinking right about there. I'm going to tell it, okay, we're going to tell it to cut it. Okay, now when we hit cut, nothing happens. It's all dark because we have to load our paper. Okay, and once we hit that load button, there is a button there. You guys can't see it. Then we can hit the start button. And then it's going to go all the way to that one little area. And we can pull up our mat. Oh, it's a good thing we did our test cut. It did not cut through at all. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Finished cutting. Okay. So, I'm going to come over to my blade. And I flip it up. So that I can grab him. Okay. And in, it's got some cut incisors. So that didn't go through at all. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to a six or maybe six and a half. Okay, I know it's hard to see, but I put it between the six and the seven. And then we're just gonna gently drop her back in there, right in there, cap her down and then push our little lever. Okay. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna do our cut again. And because we didn't unload it, it's still there. So we're going to hit our little start button. And hopefully, hopefully we did better. And there it is. We have a perfect cut. And then it says it's finished. We tell it okay. We're going to back out of this. Okay, we're going to go to our home menu and we're going to say yes because it's going to delete our triangle. We're going to go to our pattern. Okay, so we basically hit our home button, go to pattern. We're going to do the internet -y, and it's retrieving because we already sent it. So it's, it's thinking about it, it's trying to find it. And hopefully we did everything right and it's gonna spit it out for us <laughs> and there's everything oh it looks so fabulous okay so we're gonna say okay we're gonna tell it to cut it and because we didn't unload we can hit start and then look at it's going to be all weird how it cuts. I don't know how it chooses what it chooses. But there's... <laughs> it's a loud in, but that's okay. And this is the Scan and Cut CM... CM350. CM350. So that is going to do its little cutty mcguddies. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, sorry. I'm all swinging you guys around. Sorry about that. Woohoo. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yes. It's, it's a little messy because I've been making some videos and haven't been putting my stuff away. But, uh, yeah. So, hello. How are everybody? Um, okay, so I'm going to run through and see if there's any comments that... Uh, okay, and yes, I, I, I kind of said yes earlier. Okay, so... Um, you could copy and replace the QE pieces with something I do personally make and put it in the shop. Absolutely. Uh, um, Brenda says, do those of you who have a scan and cut think you buy less stamps, dyes, stencils since you can make them instead? A scan and cut doesn't replace the stamping aspect. But I do know... 
Um, I've always bought less dies because they're expensive. But I had a ton of fun using it to die cut the uh, dinosaurs out by the Tracy Hay. <laughs> I made so many dinosaurs. And it was really fun and really easy to stamp, scan, and then cut them out. So I really liked that. Um, oh, and Gloria turns off the light so that her scanner can pick it up better. That's good. Um, you know, you guys, it's, it's hilarious. So I got my, my... F Cancer, um, Captain Amell, Stefan Amell, if you guys watched Arrow back in the day, his, his mom got cancer. Um, my mom had cancer at the same time, so he was donating for cancer. So this is my, my sweater. It keeps me cozy when the weather goes from 80 something yesterday to like freezing today you guys I don't normally get cold but my hands are cold my feet are cold I was cold I'm like I got a runny nose because it's cold like the temperature down the hill downhill <laughs> but um so I like the scanning cut <laughs> okay and mind you cricket has one that does the scan and cut feature. I personally don't like the I don't like the waste it makes, right? But with my scan and cut, I printed wait, where am I? I printed my little labels and then I scan and cut them, cut them. <laughs> so these go on the backs of my cards. Now some of them are a little janky because I was um, playing around. Oh, this one's a good one though. It's got a perfect little outline and I cut them perfectly with my scanning cut um, and my labels. So I can print my own labels. I can print my own digital art and make stickers and stuff. But yeah, and these are stickers. So these are handcrafted by they're on a little sticker sheet and I can um, peel them and stick them on the backs of my cards and then sign underneath them, which is really great. The, the machine just finished. La, 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 la. Okay. So we can take a peeky. Oh, and it didn't cut it all the way through. Okay. So it didn't cut it all the way through. So we're going to say okay. And then we're going to cut and we're going to do it again. Because I think it cut through the triangle because it ran it through twice. Yeah. So I'll have to remember that it <laughs> to do a better test cut next time. So we'll, we'll go back to chatting while that finishes. We'll go back to chatting. Chatting. It's so, so, so loud. What are you guys seeing? What are you guys? But yeah, as long as you don't eject it, lift that corner and see, and then tell it to cut again. And it will cut it exactly the same. Yeah, Brenda, I, I was really blessed. I was gifted mine. And, uh... I, I love it. I'm as I'm learning and use I'm actually using it more like when I figured out how to scan it, save it and um, because there there is a little bit of a learning curve when you scan something and then you want to give it like a little border that um, what's the word? that uh <laughs> that little white outline like the a die cut leaves um it's easy to do right on the machine scan it make it bigger 
but there's a few steps if you save the design and then you need to you know blow it make it a little bit bigger the um the area but i'll make some videos on that i made one and it didn't look good you guys <laughs> it was a really bad video i was playing it back going no 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 <laughs> So I have to redo the video, but uh, hopefully I'll have clean, cohesive videos for you on the Brother Scan and Cut and whatnot. And you know what? So we did the Cricut. We did a design we make. And... Then we did SVGs, and then with Brother Scan and Cut, I just did the SVGs and the designs we make. Sorry. We'll do it again next next week. We'll we'll make a big 12x12 12 12 stencil next week. How's that sound? Does that sound alright? Make a huge stencil next week. So that we can see how that works. Uh. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, you know what we'll do next week? I was just thinking this. Next week, what I could do is make one stencil, make it four times so a four and a quarter by five and a half cents so we'll make it four times and then we'll give three of them away how's that next week we'll do a brother scan and cut stencil handmade and then we'll give three of them away i like that area area i like that idea let me write that down Aha. stencil giveaway next week So, in the comments, you'll have two chances to win. This is how you get two chances to win. In the comments of this video, after, after it shuts down and everybody says goodbye, come back in like an hour tomorrow, the next day, whatever. Come in, drop a comment. In the comments, you can give a thumbs up, you can give a hi, and you'll get a... Uh, uh, an entry for the giveaway but also if you're interested yes put it in my planner which is sitting right here <laughs> it's so lovely um oh, <laughs> what <laughs> maddie says when does the easy stuff start i did the easy stuff I just put little shapes on the board. That was like the easiest of all. <laughs> oh, silly girl. Oh, Crystal, you should enter. Enter to win. You don't even, you might see it next week and like, I want that stencil. You need to enter to win. Enter to win. Um, okay, so Monday. Wait, I don't even know where I'm at. Monday. We're still in April. Let's try this. April. Look. You guys can't see how cute it is. April. Wait. That's April. That's April. Here we go. April 13th. What is today? I don't even know. Today's the 17th. We did... Brother Scan and Cut... Entries start. Her entries start. And then next Monday on the 24th, make one four by five stencil. I don't know what that means. And give three away. 
Um, and then the following Monday, so the 24th, so May 1st will be the actual giveaway. Okay, so our May 1st giveaway stencils. So um, this Monday all the way up to May 1st. And then next Monday all the way up to May 1st. Um, and then uh, you guys can enter to win. Now what, what you want to do is in the comments... You saw some of the shapes, right? So maybe we make a flower. Maybe we make geometric. Or, you know, put in the comments if you want something floral, if you want something geometric. And I'm going to take inspiration from that and um, make make the stencil. So maybe maybe you'll pick something, you know, help me, inspire me. But, uh, yeah, so if you want to see something with hearts or something with butterflies, you know, just let me know. Um, what material do you use in the Scan and Cut to cut out stencils? I am using Mylar. I'm using a 7 mil Mylar, which needs more, more cutting pressure than I chose. But, uh, yeah, so 7 mil Mylar. That's what I used in the Cricut, too. I just, Cricut, Cricut's nice because it has the settings. Like in Cricut, you click Mylar, it cuts it for you perfectly. Brother, scan and cut, you have to, if I'd have had a chunk of Mylar, if I were thinking about it, I would have put a chunk of Mylar up in the corner, did some test cutting, got it perfect, then put my good stencil on knowing that, oh, Mylar in the brother is such and such, which I will make a note of once I figure out that perfect depth for my blade. And then I got to remember to switch it back so I don't cut through the mat <laughs> on thin paper. But okay, so yeah, so on the end of this video, the end of next Monday, um, you guys drop some comments and um, we, we will give it away on Monday the 20... Or Monday, the, Monday, May 1st, we'll give it away, but we'll make it on the 24th. <laughs> uh, no, you, no you, uh, Gloria says, yes, we are done cutting. Um, Gloria says, do you think you have to purchase a thick cut blade? No, I just need to set the depth of the blade because it goes pretty deep. Um, I picked six and a half. I should have probably done an eight and I'll do some test runs in the future and when I find oh my mylar that I have I'll put a label on the front of my scan and cut for it so let's go let's go eject let's go eject you guys ejection finish cutting let's let's go see oh you've got to be why is it not cutting through Sorry guys. Yeah, it's uh it didn't cut through again. Uh it looks like the blade slipped. It went skinnier. Eh. Okay. Well, But that side cut, look at that. Not all of it though. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna pop this out and I'm gonna put this back down on a five. Uh, I don't know, do I wanna do it on a five? Do I wanna, mm, I can't believe it didn't cut again. Yes, I can. I can believe it because this stuff happens to me all the time. Because I was unprepared. I didn't think about changing the depth and all that fun stuff. Because I don't want to cut through all. You know what I mean? 
surprised it didn't go through when it cut through twice the last time. Let me do, let me do seven. Let me do six and a half again. I don't know. I don't know. What are you guys saying? What are you guys saying? Yeah, well, okay, so the first time it was six and a half, but then it bounced through and turned to f six. Mm. Um, I heard the beep and beeps. Oh, that's another thing. Okay, so... See, did it cut up there? No, see, it cut through up here. Okay, we're just gonna say, okay, we're gonna eject the button, okay? And I'll deal with whatever doesn't cut. And, uh, yeah, okay. So let me, let me get you guys back in to the normal screen. Ah, oh, da, 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 da. Where is the normal screen? There you are. And then we're gonna turn, we're gonna turn that off. We're gonna turn that on. All right. So hi, how are you? How are you doing? Yeah, um, I'm definitely gonna need to do my test runs and make sure. So just like Cricut, Okay, they're cutting mats. We don't want to bend our paper and cause wrinkly bits. So we're gonna turn, turn this over, peel this, okay. And in a perfect, perfect scenario, <laughs> not on this channel, <laughs> No perfectness on here. Okay, so so I'm thinking maybe it just needed. Oh, I think if it hadn't uh, slipped and gone down a size, it would have been perfect at two times at six and a half. Or you know, I think. I think empty nest is right. I think next time I'll try a eight. Um, and what I'll do is like, um, I've got extra mylar running around from other projects. Come on. Um, I'll do my tests. I'm going to start my test at 8 on the Mylar and see how it goes from there. Because we can also go in and change the pressure. So, and that's a more detailed thing we'll get into in pre-recordeds. But, I mean, it's pretty easy. Easy stuff if I hadn't mucked it up. Okay, so the other thing we can do, too, is grab... Come here, you. Okay. Do, 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 do. Look at our little kiwi, kiwi edging. So cute. If I was an exacto knife, where would I have led off to <laughs> exacto knife says nope i'm not dealing with you today lady okay so here's our wonky one we'll deal with that one other i just want to do this kiwi one so we've got we've got this we've got our exacto knife nice and sharp exacto knife No, um, no, because, no, the, oops, what am I, 
It feels like, I don't, I don't know because I'm not versed in brother because we don't know the depth of paper and that I cut that at, I cut that at a five. I don't know. Is paper like five mil, four mil, four mil, five mil? Crystal says the blade I need is purple. But <laughs> I don't have a purple one. I'll make do. I'll, I'll, I'll figure out the depths we need for the one that we have. <laughs> Just a little bit more pressure and all that fun stuff. We'll make our, our stencils old school, you guys. Look it. We've got our little, we've got that little piece to make our brown area. We've got this little piece here. Kind of nice that the center pieces didn't cut out, though, on this particular one. Oops. Kind of rotate that around, but yeah, we'll we'll fine tune it. I'll run some test uh, tests before our next live on Monday, Wednesday. I gotta think of what to do on Wednesday, you guys. I don't know what to do. Oh, Thursday, you guys. Thursday, we we Crystal and I will be live on her channel. We're gonna be playing with some Simon Hurley goodies on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern on her channel. I will be doing my live on Crescent Re Creation at regular 7, 7 p.m. Eastern. And then right after, I'm gonna head over to Crystal's channel and then we're gonna go live there. So exciting. Okay, I can't see, I can't see the stencil. I can't see nothing. We're just gonna we're just gonna muck it up it's okay so yeah if you guys are interested be sure to have the notifications on crystals channel we're gonna like I said we're gonna hang out and I'm gonna do some lunar paste on guys fabric and then I'm gonna make a card with it look at that piece that piece is fabulous but this piece isn't what we need it's actually this piece <laughs> but that'll be fun we'll do something else with that one I think we'll figure that out there's that and then our last little piece of the kiwi the last bit of the kiwi in a perfect world in a perfect world okay you guys will do your tests you will make sure that it cuts in one pass. And then do not do your second test over the same area. Don't do like I did, okay? Come on. It's not gonna be perfect, you guys. But we're, we're gonna try, right? Poor little kiwi not going to be fabulous but that's all right we're going to get this little kiwi going see if i can pop these little seeds out get off my get off there push those through and then we'll get some tweezies and then we will peel them off the back. Because we can do that. Not with those, though. Oh, no. They're fun. I like lives. Lives are fun. Especially when you have a great group of peeps. 
like we do. We have a good group of peeps. And YouTube has made it easy. Now people can go live with their friends if they have YouTube channels. So Crystal's going to send me a link and then we're going to go live like Dawn and uh, Linda do. Don't even need Zoom. Okay, I almost got them, you guys. I'm just going and picking my seeds, picking the seeds out of the kiwi. Although, in a real kiwi, you eat those seeds. But don't eat these seeds. Okay, don't eat these ones. These are not good for your health. Poke that through. Okay, so we got our little kiwi seeds. Okay. Ah, yay, look at that. So I got a little square stamp. Ugh. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Ha! Ah! Okay, if we can do this without breaking... Ha ha! Look at that! Look at me! I'm being forceful! I'm not being a brute! I know how to do that well. Be a brute. I want... <laughs> I want this to work. <laughs> Look at that. We got that out. Can we get this one out? I mean, it may make it a little janky, but then I'll be able to show you for the most part. Yeah, I'm, I mucked that one up just a little too much. The littler ones not being as kind. Oh my goodness. But like I said, you guys, you'll do it and you'll have a way better results. Okay. Because you're gonna you're gonna take your time and do that little test run. Okay. I should have done that ahead of time. And if the first test fails, don't retest in the same area. Move your little triangle and, or circle, whatever you're using, and do it in another area. Okay. All these O's and U's and stuff. Just want you to exit. Exit. Exit my stencil. Are you guys doing any crafting? <laughs> While well, I'm being a little bit anal about this. Ooh. Well, that one's like stuck in there. Get out of there. Just being stubborn. It's all it is. We'll we'll do it like this. We'll just I say that and then I keep going. Like, no, we're done. But no, I don't want to be done. Ah, I got it. Now I've only got two left. Okay. Just let go. And look, I'm keeping my fingers out of the way so I don't cut them off. Because we know that's bad. <laughs> Oops. Little stinker. I just want you to. <laughs> Ooh, I almost got it. Guys. Ooh. <laughs> One last letter. <laughs> I really want this to work. 
It's not fair. Just so you know, if you have areas that don't cut out, you can help them out. Like, <laughs> get out of there. Okay, so we have... We have our other little fun things that just... Ugh. That one didn't cut at all. Look at that. Yes, it did. Ooh. This is why you put... Oh, my goodness. We put bounding boxes. Because if you wanted this shape, you want to be able to cut it out. Oh, I broke it. <laughs> I broke it. I told you I was a brute. But see here... If I had to put a rectangle around this, it would have cut that out. And then we would have our little stencil shape. And then these, what we do with those is get that, get our little alpha to alphabeties off of there. And then we stand up, we grab a chunk of paper and we go to town scooch those out of our way oops <laughs> okay here we go here we go we're gonna do our little our little kiwi okay now um when we make our kiwi we'll have to make sure because one is smaller than the other right okay so we got our little kiwi We've got our little kiwi pieces and we kind of have to think backwards for what we were doing right we have our little parts so our first thing is this is the big kiwi this is the brown part but if we color this all brown our um our kiwi is going to be brown and we're not going to have good green and yellow colors right so we're going to grab a little bit of mint tape we're gonna roll that on back on itself, okay? And there's the center to that one. So we're gonna, we find that one, we get it out of the way. And then we find the center to the other one, okay? Cause this is our, this is the piece that's gonna give us the roundness. So we're gonna put a little bit of tape on this little masky piece. And we're going to put it in the center of our kiwi area. See that? And we don't mind if we get a little ink in those little teeny dots. Because those are going to be black later, right? So we're going to just tape this down. Our main stencil. We're going to tape that down. Okay. I'm going to get that like that. And then we have our brown area our brown skin of our kiwi. Okay. Got our brown area. And I'm just going to hold the piece that we taped. Because I don't really want it going anywhere. Okay. And then, that's really dark. <laughs> but that's okay. There's, there's our kiwi skin. Look at that. Beautiful kiwi skin. Okay. That was some beautimous uh, Weeping Willow Brown by Simon Hurley. So I love that. Then we can peel this. Okay. We don't need this guy anymore. And um, when you're making stencils and you make them kind of small, or even if you buy them, just tape off the edges or put a piece of paper. Um, I made a little mark there, but mine is for demos, and maybe I'll cut it out later. But look it. We have this cute little kiwi skin. Okay. Now, our kiwi, and we can go back and look at our picture if we need to, but we have um, the little, because I didn't put my little stencil in there. That's all right. We'll put that like that. So this would be... Um, the light green area okay 
Where did the other one go? There's you. Here's you. Did you guys see where the... The center to this one went? Oh, under my page, okay. So this piece, we don't necessarily need either, but we could do some fun double double coloring right so what we can do is we'll put in our light green with this one and again we'll just tape it in place we'll just borrow the tape from over there okay just wipe that make sure it doesn't come off we'll get that where we want it we're gonna put that there we're gonna grab our green our nice light green yeah I didn't see it either it was under my paper Okay, so here's our green, and I want it light. So I'm gonna tap off quite a bit, okay? And then I'm gonna leave a little circle too, because remember we have that little sentry piece. So I'm just gonna do a nice light color right there, because then we have our little sentry piece, and I'm just gonna go super light, just like that. Grab a little bit more green just for the edges like so so there's there's I know it's hard for you guys to see but we got our little kiwi area now here's where we can have fun because it's a stencil it's not a die cut look at our little kiwi okay so here's this piece which we could line up those little the little white areas, but I'm not. I'm gonna offset mine, okay? So I'm hiding the little white areas, okay? And now I'm gonna go in with my green again. And it's okay if it goes on the brown, right? Because uh, brown is all the colors, okay? And I am just going to be a little bit careful not to go too far out. But then if I do fussy cut it, it's fine. Um, if you want to protect your surface, if maybe you want to, you're using a lighter brown, right? So then you just put the circle, the smaller circle, right? Figure out how I cut this. I cut it heck a heck a janky. Okay, I see that little protrusion there. Where's that at? Right there. Okay. It's, if you guys cut yours perfect, you won't have this problem. I had to yank mine out with a pair of scissors. Okay, so maybe we put a piece of tape down. Okay, so that's going to protect our surface. We're going to put our little doodad back in there. See, like so. Um, I'm going to try and cover that. And I don't want anything in the center, so I'm just going to cover that with my thumb. And then come in like so. And see, now I can be really crazy with that because we've just stacked our little layers. But look at, look at our little kiwi. Pick that up. Look at, isn't that cute? And then with this stencil, you know, we've got that we get our we can do bright yellow we could do in the picture it was a bright yellow i'm gonna do psych which is kind of, wait do i want psych or do i want yeah i want psych it's an interesting color okay now if this had cut perfect, I'd have those little seeds. And I wouldn't, I still wouldn't worry about the seeds, right? Look at, look at that. I still wouldn't worry about the seeds. Because the seeds are going to be black, right? So then we find our piece with the seeds. And we put that on there. Then we get our little bit of black. Little bit of black. Little bit of black. And we don't mind if it mixes with brown because, well, it's black. <laughs> Look at that. Look at our kiwi. 
Oh my goodness. You know what? I may have to just make a kiwi stencil because that's too stinking cute. And do it, do it a little bit different so that it is meant to be, yeah. Mm, isn't it cute? Oh. Uh, da, 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 da. Instagram. Sorry, I was trying to grab Gloria's Instagram. I don't follow private. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not a follower. I had to really search for her. I was like, I know she's on here. But uh, yeah, so there's that. So there's our little kiwi we made deconstructing an SVG. Ah, oh, isn't it the cutest? I love it. Mm. Yeah, and when you're making your stencils, so when you cut it, right, I would take like a Sharpie or something and then put like the numbers or something. Well, maybe not a Sharpie because that's a non-porous surface, but um, maybe a little sticker and put a little up sign so that you know that this is like number one and um, that's the bottom so that when you go to put your second stencil so here let me show you what I mean instead of just trying to be clever about it okay so you'd make these cute little stickers and don't use washi because it's gonna wipe off really easy you want a nice good maybe a vinyl or something that's gonna be extra sticky and then you would go this is layer number two this is layer number one. That way there, you know, okay, number one goes there. When I go to use number two, it's going to go down in this direction as well. Okay, does that make sense? So number your stencils so you know what you're doing. And then you won't have that gapping like I did. And this, like this would be number, that's actually number one, but we won't, we won't say that. That's going to be number one star <laughs> so yeah so oh it, i just love it and then this like okay i know i ripped it but this is what i was thinking so say this is your a2 size card right and or your card panel okay so you have your card panel and you just want something fun Okay, get some of this psych rolling out of here. So you can make these wonky little shapes, okay? So like I said, say this is your card front. I know it's not straight, don't judge me. <laughs> So this is your card front, right? And you've just inked all of that. And then you could put a little something, something in the, the center. You can make little frames and things like that. And you can make it to the size that you want for your cards. I'm really loving my kiwi though. I might have got a little too dark, but it's cute. Yes, Gloria, you could definitely do that. That's a really good idea. But just remember, when you're inking, you'll want to cover that triangle so that it, uh, unless you don't mind, like if I had cut a little, well, I guess, ooh, you know what you could do is just cut a little notch, have your machine cut a little notch for you, just like that, and then you would know 
where where it was. That's a good idea too. I like that. And then if this had the same notch, you would just line that up with it. So yeah, that's a good idea. A little notch or a little dot or something just to help you line things up if you want. All right, so there's that. Let's do the words because I worked really hard on pulling these stinking words out of there. I love your face. I forgot to poke out the eye, but that's okay. We will not stencil the tittle. We will not stencil that tittle. It will get left out. Okay, so we're going to... I'm so glad I got a free roll of mint tape. <laughs> we're going to ink up that part first. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're going to just grab whatever color is on the brush. You see I'm like going outside there. I'm going to show you something. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to. Then we're going to remove our tape and moves it, moves the tape up to the top of the top. Like so. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's fun. Oops. Just get a little bit there, and then we're going to go hoggy wild with that purple. <laughs> and you can do a lot of blending techniques with your stencils. You know, you don't have to make them. You can go buy them. Doesn't matter. Love your face. Look at that. How cute is that? And then you're like, but your eye's not dotted. Well, <laughs> I'm going to cut this out and use it, you guys. Look. Okay, so I got my new pops of color. It's so new. Where's those tweezers? <laughs> Pop out the centerpiece. I don't think we save it. I mean, after after we get it all open after shipping and stuff, we don't have to save that. I hope not. Then we just screw this back on. I've got a card idea in the works for these pops of color in my new arches. Okay, here we go. We're gonna pop a dot. <gasps> Ooh, ho, 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 you guys. That just, holy magoli. I'm not gonna, wow. I think we're gonna have fun with those. That's like, that's popped. It's popped up, look at that. I was trying to flatten it out because I think it just grew. <laughs> yeah, I think that little that little dot just grew a little. Okay, we 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 straightened it out. We're gonna get it off our nail. Oh, that's a good idea, Pam. Dang it! Okay, can I do it? I've got my tweezies. I'm gonna push down.
No, it looks like a Mickey Mouse balloon. It's not what we were going for, friends. <laughs> but... <laughs> Oh, you guys, it look, it, I don't know. It looks like a hot mess. Let's see if we can't put this in there. Okay, it's kind of runny, you guys. I'm a, it's, I think if I'd have drawn it out before, Beforehand, it would have been fine. Oh, wow. I fixed it though, but hot doggity. I made it really big. <laughs> I like it though. Yeah, I think if I'd have done here, let me do it over here. I think if I'd have done. A blump and pull and a blump and pull. Nope, a blump and pull and a bump a little bit closer and pull. There we go. Yeah, so you kind of want to do like a little puddle and then pull and then a little puddle and then pull and then join them. But uh, yeah. They're easy to maneuver. Uh, yeah, we'll do we'll do a little video because you know we're gonna. Oh, did you guys freeze? Like, what the heck? Oh no, we got a cloggy. We got a cloggy. I should let you guys go. I'm just I'm just going now. guys should have a little safety pin uh, that's not a safety pin but you know what I mean plump and pull plump and pull yeah they're a little bit more more fluid than the liquid pearls but it's still oh always join your puddles <laughs> I do I have a huge heart because you guys I gotta have room for all of you. That's why I need room. I need room for all of you. But uh, yeah, so there, there's that, you guys. We made some stencils with the Brother Scan and Cut. We made stencils with the Cricut. And next week, Monday, we're gonna make a stencil using all the shapes. Well, not all the shapes. We're gonna be using some shapes in the Cricut design. Or. We will use the shapes uh, in Brother software and we will um, make a stencil that I'm going to copy three times and we're going to give away three wonderful stencils. And I still love your face. <laughs> but I love this kiwi just even more. Look at it. Look at how cute he is. I like having that little bit of white. It's like little highlights in there. Mm. And I did a fabulous blending job, FYI, to keep that nice and light. But it's still green with yellow. <laughs> and toot my own horn. Toot, toot. But I thank you all so, so, so very much for hanging out with me and putting up with my double cutting and... <laughs> But be honest now, I was better prepared this time than with the Cricut one. Haha. -ha. I can honestly say that my first Cricut video was a hot, hotty hot, hot, hot mess. Okay. Um, again, drop comments for a chance to win the stencil we don't even know about yet. So uh, we're, we're going to drop comments on this video. We'll drop comments on Monday's video. And then the following Monday, even later than that, we shall draw the winner. And I will see you 
Wednesday here on the channel, 7 p.m. Eastern. I will see you at Crescent Creation on Thursday at 7 p.m. And I will see you at Crystal's Creations channel at 8 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. We'll see you later, my friends. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Happy crap.